This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kelly Allen and welcome to my 2024 rare plant wish list. Right? Right. One, it's delayed, I know, as is everything nowadays. Two, I know I said I was going to, excuse me, I know I said I was going to put common plants in with this list, but I haven't, okay? I haven't, I've actually kept it as it is. It's not a particularly long list because as you might imagine, I have a few plants and it takes a lot for me to want to plant nowadays. But I do have some things on this list. I've noticed some trends as I've been making it, I won't lie. This gnat, this gnat, it's gonna keep coming around my face. I have noticed some trends on said wish list, so I really want to know what you guys think about what I've got to say, because I don't know if these are expected or not. Probably yes. I don't, I'm not sure there's anything that's like out of my comfort zone or anything like that. Two things before we start. The first, this lovely feed that I plugged last week in my report sold out very, very quickly. It is now available again on Amazon. I repeat, it is live on Amazon now. If you're in the UK and you wish to buy it, you may get it off there. You can also get it on my website, but it does help to actually get it off at Amazon at the moment. Just helps me expand, helps me get those good reviews because my website, you can't write reviews on it. So if you are looking for some amazing fertilizer that is by now doing the rounds, and I think you'll like it, then the link is in the description. Similarly, I have on my new merch as well, which is also in the description. You can either get this one, this is based on Mysterious Dark Boy, right here behind me, or you can get my Long Boys merch, which is super popular as well. Both, again, links in description. Right, I have some of my energy drink that I did not finish at the gym. Very, very terrible. Anybody wondering? This is what I drink at the gym. The pink one is also very nice. The pink one slaps, but this one is normally on offer, so I buy this one because it's cheaper. We'll have a good bargain, especially on overpriced energy drinks. Right, okay. Now these aren't in order, but I have kind of grouped them according to like philodendron, monstera, anthurium, that kind of thing. And I think there is literally just philodendron, monstera, anthurium. What I will say, I have the right to make a new list at some point, right? So you can almost treat this as a part one. I'm not gonna call it a part one, but it effectively might be a part one because I have not had the time to look at plants. And I know that there's a lot of nice new hybrids coming out, especially with anthurium, even philodendron and stuff like that. There's very interesting new monstera out, stay tuned. But yeah, I was the right to make another one. Anyway, first plant on my red plant wish list, and this isn't like super expensive or anything like that. I haven't done any, you know, price calculations. It's just me looking at stuff and me liking them, okay? I've mentioned this before, long time ago, but the first plant on my wish list is the Philodendron Summer Glory, right? Why, you ask? Why? Honestly, I don't know. Maybe it's because it's got Gloriosum in it. So this is what you're looking at now is, it's Philodendron Summer Glory. It is a hybrid, apparently, of Gloriosum and an unnamed Macaulay's hybrid. I don't know what that is. Obviously, it comes in a little bit bronze. It looks glossy and not velvety, and it's got a lot of Gloriosum shape to it. Maybe I'm a little bit enamored about some of the photographs I've seen online, because if this if this gnat, if this gnat doesn't leave me alone, there's one gnat in my face hole all the time. It's doing my head in. I could have been enamored by some of the pictures on the internet because some of them are coming through and they look not prints of orangey, but they're looking really orange when they come through. So I reserve the right to maybe be disappointed about this plant. But that said, I don't think it's very expensive. I think you can actually get your hands on it. So it's not overly sought after, but I think it's a really nice one. And you know me, I really, really like this type of plant. Is it a climber? or a crawler though. Ooh, give me one moment. I think it's a crawler, which makes me very happy because even though, even though crawlers can be a nightmare, just in terms of growing along pots, I really just like them. I find their size up better. They just tend to look more plump, more voluptuous. I just like them. And I think, I, I know you guys know this, but I don't really like moss poles very much. I know they're a necessary evil, don't get me wrong, I know, I know they are, I know. But I just hate them, and if I can avoid them, I kind of will. So, <laughs> I kind of like that. I did have a feeling it was a um, a crawler, just because at least the Glorosum was. Not that that's anything to really go by, but it looked a bit crawlery because it looked quite plump and bushy. So, that makes me kind of happy, kind of happy about that. This here is full of crawlers, full of crawlers. Both of these trays are full of crawlers. I fed them, I don't know, a month ago, and they are literally overgrowing to the point where I need to propagate them quite fast. Because there's some stuff in there I think you might like, some of the silvery sort of philodendrons and stuff. But anyway, if they grow like that, I'll have it. So I reserve the right to have that, but I also reserve the right to be disappointed because I'm aware that it's not, you know, it's not anything special. And arguably a lot of the other plants on this list look more special. Like there is a reason to want them. This is maybe less so. 
I'll give you that. The next plant, right, you can proper tell, right, the theme on some of these plants. We're going to go over it after I've gone through philodendron and I've got homolamina on here, right? Because I think the vibe is quite obvious, to be honest. It's it's clear where my colour preferences lean, right? So the next plant on my list, and honestly, this looks awesome. This looks awesome. I've got mixed feelings about this, and I will explain why in a moment. The next plant on my list is the philodendron orange princess, right? Listen, pink princess. <laughs> it grows like shit. All right, it grows like shit. It's not the worst. It's not the worst. Things like, and I have loads of them, philodendron strawberry shake, for example, way worse, right? It's a climber. It just looks a bit, you know, a bit, ugh. Now, Pink Princess doesn't have to. It can look really good. You've normally got to be either feeding the hell out of it, a reasonably decent plant influencer, or growing it in a garden centre, in my opinion, for it to look really good, okay? No shade meant. It's just more often than not, they're a bit leggy, right? It happens to me all the time, by the way. I'm not, not including me in that. But there's something about the orange and the dark that I really quite like. Now... I will preface this as well by saying it could be a bit specimen dependent because I've seen some that look a bit shit, some that look great. Really depends on the one. Like, for example, if you remember way back when, when I got my beautiful pink princess that I got over in the Aroid show, I think I won it at auction. That was fantastic. And a lot of people have said to me, oh, I didn't really like pink princess, but yours has made me want one. It's kind of like that, right? So the orange princess, some of them look incredible. And I invite you to have a little look on Instagram. Some of, some of you guys have gorgeous ones. I would be very interested in having one of those. I think it's gorgeous. Maybe it's because I don't love pink. I do like the more or orangey things because I'm not a pink kind of girl if you haven't but noticed but um, that's not saying I would never have pink because literally I have something with pink in here on this list but generally speaking I honestly think the orange could be really really nice and most photos most photos I see look really really good so I'm very very curious to have one of those I don't know how easy they are to get I don't assume they are I don't see many of them I don't think it's like a pink princess situation where we see them in garden centers if I'm wrong about that let me know down below because I will literally drive to get one because I can drive now literally I'm not missing out on this shit do you know what I mean this this not oh. How many times, statistically, right, have you gone to catch a gnat or, or a fly, whatever it is, and you really think you've got it? Like, you really, you're so confident you put money on it, and you open your hand and it's not there. The hell, man. So yes, Philodendron Orange Princess, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. If you have a really pretty one, tag me on Instagram. As with any of the plants in this video, by the way, if you have a pretty one, tag me on Instagram and I'll come along and like it because I just want to see what y'all got, you know what I mean? We interrupt this video to talk about the main sponsor of our channel for a quick second, and that is Squarespace. If you didn't already know, Squarespace is a website that builds websites, and I've used it to build both websites for both of the brands that I own. I have Squarespace website for my Nurture System brand, and I have a Squarespace Squarespace website for the Red Plant Shop, and I absolutely adore using it. It's so easy to do. I can customize a template from an absolute array of templates they have on their website, and I can make it completely my own. So anything I take, I can still make it look completely individual to me. I don't need any coding knowledge or anything like that to navigate the changes on the website or to make changes across loads of different pages at once. It's all super intuitive and super simple to do, and the result always looks really, really good. If you want to create a really sleek looking website, either for yourself or perhaps you're setting up an online business, go to squarespace.com for your free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Kaylee Ellen to receive 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's it from me, guys. Back to the video. Right, the next plant on my list, this has been on my list for, wow, I don't know, does it have, it doesn't have a date on this, I'm actually looking at a, a screenshot of a Facebook post for this, and I'll get into why in a moment, but I think I've wanted it for at least a year, it was whenever it poked out on the internet, so it could have been a year ago, it could have been two years ago, I'm not really sure, but the next plant that I'm really, oh! I would adore one of these in my house because it would go so beautifully. And that is the Philodendron Silver Angel, right? Now, the reason, literally on my phone, you can see, the reason I'm looking at a Facebook post of it is because if I go and Google right now, give me one moment, please, Philodendron Silver Angel. If I Google Philodendron Silver Angel, I almost get what I have 
back here, right? Now, obviously I'm putting up the real picture of the silver angel now, right? I'm now gonna delete that picture. Poof, gone, right? It might be the Facebook post, but honestly, that is why I've done that, right? But if I just get this for you, please, please be pick upable. A lot of the pictures, oh no. Sorry, this really needs cut, guys. Please, please let me off. Let me off the hook with this. <laughs> this needs propped. A lot of what I'm seeing as a silver angel is actually this guy here. Pause, I know I'm not supposed to be showing plants in a wishlist video, but it is what it is. A lot of what I'm seeing online, I'm not saying it's this exact plant here, but it resembles this plant. And I know this to be, is it SP Platinum or Spur Platinum, whatever you want to call it, not Silver Angel. So when I talk about this, if I just hold this on this side, sorry, I'm knocking my stool. If I hold this on this side of the screen here, even to the light, and you see the other picture on the other side, you will see they are very, very different. In fact, the Silver Angel, I will leave it up while I'm talking to you. The Silver Angel, guys, actually reminds me, let me know if you agree, of Linamii, right? Philodendron Linamii. Due to the way, stay with me, due to the way that it's very, very flat paneled. Like it's not pillowy like what I just showed you, right? It's like a really flat panel and it comes in an unmistakably light silver color. It is literally silver. It's like a light milky silver. Nothing like that there. So if you're looking for one on the internet, I will just say that please be careful and make sure you get the right thing because I don't know if there's only one of these plants. I don't know what the tea is. I haven't looked. If you want me to look into it, let me know. I'll do a video on it. But I really, really like this. It has to have some kind of Linamii in it, or would it be Nangaratensia or something? I want to say it looks a lot like Linamii. Now, you might be shouting at the screen because it might be known what it's come from. I, I don't know. It could be completely its own thing. I don't know. But to me, it looks a bit Linamii-ish. I can actually see on this photograph, there is a little bit of pink in it, actually. Um, it, it hardens off really frosted color, but the petiole looks like a, not rhubarb, like a peachy pink color. It looks so 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 beautiful and i cannot explain to you how much that would look good in my house right obviously i would sell it propagate it do do all the other things but i would absolutely adore one to be in my house i think it would look absolutely gorgeous is it pet safe no but i'll work around it i'll put it on a shelf it's fine right I really want this plant. I've talked about this plant for so long. Let me know if you have this plant. Let me know if you want this plant because it's so, so gorgeous. So yes, if I have posted, uh, you know, like a crop down Facebook post, that is why it's because I'm struggling to find the real one, which would suggest to me that it is quite rare. It would suggest to me that it's just being passed around. So that is the tea on that. But you can't not like that, guys. You can't not like it. Unless you don't like silver or frosted stuff, but that's just me. Like I, in a collection, right? I know I've say this time blue in the face. Variegates are good and all, but I actually normally like the, the regular versions of plants. So I have variegate gloriosum, which you will not see, but they're in like a, a tray behind me. That's nice and all, but I like regular gloriosum. And if I had a really pretty collection, I would almost be mixing, in my opinion, really dark forms of stuff. So like dark forgetii, maybe like philodendron luxurians, like dark, dark stuff. I'd be mixing with frosted stuff. Like I have it down, it's down there. I will not pick it up. I pick it up every video. My spathophyllum that's frosted, frosted. Things like some skindapsis, silvery stuff that looks nice. Anything silvery and dark together, I think would look absolutely incredible. And if I was gonna like color style a collection, that's probably what I would do. So on that note, actually, please leave a comment about this. I kind of fancy rating your guys' collections because I know you put so much effort into curating them and stuff. I don't necessarily because, again, I'm still going through the whole cat plant thing. But I really fancy doing a video where I actually rate your collections on Instagram and stuff. So if you'd like to do that, leave a comment and I will, I will facilitate that anyway through Instagram. Anyway, we're going to move on, but that is really sexy. Don't know the tea on it, but I really want it. Right. This next plant, I think I like it because... Why do I like this? Because sometimes you don't know why you like something. I think it's because I can see that when it goes mature, it's probably got a lot of presence to it. It's probably quite majestic. And this is Philodendron Deflexum Variegated. Seen these poking round, I'm guessing they're not cheap. Just gonna go out on a limb. But I think it could look really, really nice. It's sort of like a, a long, rutched, paddly leaf. In essence, in a way, it kind of has this shape to it. So it's long, but it's a little bit wide. It looks really, really pretty. And of course, being variegated ma makes it better. Would I want a regular one? Probably not. This is a scenario where I'd like to try the variegated one. I would love to know how easy deflexum is to take care of, for example. I would probably not bother with it in this climate if it wasn't easy to look after. 
I just don't think I'm the best of money right now. But I'm going to whiz over that really quickly because honestly, that is me being very basic, going, here's a new nice variegate that I want. I'm not screaming for it not gagged, nothing like that. So I'm going to skip over that one quite quickly. But, oh, you know what? I didn't want to like this next plant. I didn't. Guys, I didn't. I didn't. But I do. And I have to be honest with myself. I just do. I, I want it, man. I really want it. And y'all have some absolutely incredible, incredible specimens of this plant. And I think this is where I said to you in the beginning that my my wants, my wishlist plants for this year are, are like taking on a trend because this shit, this is the trend, right? Remember the orange princess, okay? The next plant on my red plant wish list for 2024 is the philodendron red Congo variegated. I don't know what it is, guys. This peachy orangey shit, I am so here for it this year. And you know what? Would it go with dark and frosted blue color? Would that look good? Would that look good? I'm trying to imagine it. So you've got like a dark gloriosum or a dark like magnificum or something. And then you've got blue shit or silvery shit and you've got peachy orange shit would that look good answers down below if you actually think that would look good because i don't know if you've done it again tag me all about it i will come over to your page and have a little look and i will like it but anyway this plant ooh, i just grabbed a regular old photograph from google because that's what i do when i like reference them to talk to you about so you might be looking at something totally different i don't know but oh my god so the thing about congo itself I know, I know. But generally, the, the Congo underneath is usually very tough, right? I mean, garden centers, I have a... It's a Congo hybrid, but there's a, a shit ton of Congo in there, basically. And they're so tough. They still look exactly the same as when I brought them in. They're just bigger. They've got no damage. They've got no nothing. They're tough. And it's why they're in garden centers... It's why they've been used to make pink Congo and pump the shit out of them with chemicals. That's why they're used, guys, because they're tough. That's why the Congo was selected. So I already know that they're good. Congo, from what I know of it, they're okay. I've got one here. I may as well, I may as well do a little show and tell while we do this video while I talk to you, because I know you can still hear me. They're okay. They grow quite well. Sizing up, maybe less so, but also, in fairness, it's winter right now and it's not as warm in here that's for sure and also it is technically a climber so they don't size up as easy as you think like for example this is a new leaf it's not as big it's still decent this has gone dark as you can see again it's winter so it's not quite as bright as what it was it will come back in summer so generally speaking they do grow well oh there's there's one spot of damage <laughs> one but all the rest of it is beautiful i've had this since before uh christmas i think it was but yeah, anyway so they grow really really well so i don't really have any doubts about them and obviously this is indeed why they were picked in the first place to be used so i can only imagine guys the red congo is gonna be gorgeous and i do think y'all would want it i do think it would sell really well would it propagate quick maybe not because i feel like when you cut things like that like pink princess red congo and stuff they downsize a little bit before they then get good again so if you're selling props of them, it, they're never going to look amazing, I don't think. You have to be really just growing them from the offset or doing a head cutting or whatever. But I really, really like it. The colour is incredible. So you've got this dark colour and you get almost, dare I say it, because I've ragged on this variegation type in the past, but you almost get like a strawberry shake variegation, except it's a little bit more pure because strawberry shake variegation can get a bit yellowy, a bit dirty yellow. And this doesn't really seem to happen, at least on the picture I'm looking at. It's more like a reddy, peachy, sunset kind of vibe. It leans more warm. And I think that's what makes it nicer than a strawberry shake. I'd have one of these over a strawberry shake. Oh my God, a million times over, literally. So I don't know how popular they are. I can't imagine they're not. I can't imagine they're not. I always see one, someone selling like one every so often, but I don't think they're like everywhere. I don't think they're in garden centers. Same thing as the orange princess. Let me know if I'm wrong again, but I don't think they are. Right, the next plant, we're out of philodendron now. We're into homolamina. And this is going to be of no surprise this is exactly what I said when I said clearly in 2024 I have a type I have a type I shouldn't be ashamed I should run with it but the plant I've got for homolamina and I do only have one to be honest it's the homolamina pink diamond right then I will try and find the image hopefully I have it it's probably a thumbnail image that I still have I had a homolamina pink diamond uh a year to two years ago I don't know what the years roll into one for me right I thought I was basically missold one a little bit 
Happens to everyone. Happens to everyone. I thought it came in like a whitey color and then it faded down to like a minty color or whatever. Definitely doesn't, given everybody else's pink diamonds, right? Um, that pink diamond, I think it's long dead. And that makes sense. It's because it was too variegated and it couldn't sustain itself. There you go. Um, I actually wanted to get some more in from the shop. And I've been having a little bit of an argument with Ben because I said, no, this is what's happened. It wasn't a proper pink diamond or it was too variegated or whatever. And Ben's going, no, we're not having them in because they don't grow well and they die. And I'm trying to say that was a one-off. They're not all going to do that. Let me know how well they grow. I don't imagine they grow unbelievably well. Um, my homolamine is not amazing you've really got to keep up with feeding and stuff like that or it, it might actually start to just size down bit of a shame randomly but but guys the color is so like i've got both pictures up together on my phone now the congo and the homolamina they look so similar they can also come through a sunsetty orangey color can you see the theme and i really really like them if i had to pick between the the congo and that i'd pick the congo one it sells better two it's stronger three it probably photographs a bit better actually because the homolamine is a little bit more alocasia-y so the petioles are a bit longer it's not as stout as a congo so if i had to pick one over the other i'd still pick the congo the homolamine pink diamond has been on my list since i realized that i got a bit of a dud one so i would absolutely adore having another one the next plant on my list i hope this is correct because i saw it on a random instagram i've tried to look it up i've gone with what they've called it i think i could be wrong right but this thing this thing looks gnarly as hell right it looks gnarly as hell it's a monstera and i just it i shouldn't like it I shouldn't like it, I shouldn't like it, but I kind of do. I think overall it looks quite spidery, it looks really different, and at the end of the day, right, at the end of the day, guys, there's not a ton of Monstera Deliciosa types out there. Well, there are, but they look the same but different colours. You see what I'm saying? So in terms of shape and stuff like that, we don't have a ton. We don't have a ton. We do have things like... Um, I've got one over there that actually really needs to go on a poll. I've got the Brazil common form that's a little bit different. You can get um, Burley Marks Flame, you can get large form, small form, blah, blah, blah. But you know what I'm saying? Outside of the main types of large form and small form, it's hard to really get other things that look a bit different, right? That's why when the Burley Marks Flame came out, that really took off, despite it being really difficult to look after because it looks so different, right? People were willing to put up with it, or at least most people were. I don't know if y'all still are. Literally, it's so slow. Oh my God. But this here, yeah. Boom. This is apparently Monstera. Is it Uni Unii? Could be butchering that. There's the name. You do with it what you will. I don't even know how I found this. They must have just tagged it with like Monstera or something and it's popped up on my Instagram. I really quite like it. I think it might grow like shit though. And I'm only saying it, nothing nothing against the grower here. I think this is the plant. I can see some really long ass petioles and not a lot of leaf. And for a Monstera, that only reminds me of one type of Monstera and that would be the Burley Marks Flame that literally doesn't grow. So I don't know if the person has mentioned if it grows quick or anything like that. I still want it, don't get me wrong, but I'm not expecting it to be easy to deal with, easy to sell, easier to put back out and stuff like that. I'm literally, by the way, guys, do not take what I'm saying as read. I am literally just guessing because I've not owned this plant, but I really quite like it. It's, I shouldn't, I shouldn't. It's a bit spidery, it's a bit weird, but I kind of like it. And I do sometimes like the weird shit, right? And this definitely goes in the weird shit category. Let me know what you think about it. Did you know about it? Now you do. Is it on your wish list? Do you hate it? Let me know. Right. The next plant. Hold up one second. Announcement. The next plant is not necessarily on my wish list, right? I'm actually more showing you this plant for you and your wish list, okay? I don't know what I think about it yet. I, I really don't know. I've had a couple of you send this to me as well, and I've said, mm, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I need more time to think about it. I need to see more pictures, more videos, more whatever. Do I want to get it for the shop? Yeah, of course, probably. In, the, in a collection sense, yes. But do I personally look at it and go, oh my God, like, would love it. A bit like the um, the other plants I've talked about, like the philodendron, uh, was it called Silver Angel, whatever it was. All of those things. Do I feel the same way? No. But I want to show you it because it's doing the rounds, guys, and I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't show you it, albeit I'm showing you it a little bit late. This here is the, what is it? Monstera Devil Monster. So right off the bat, it does look a little bit chlorotic. 
a little bit. This is not me before anybody goes off one of the comments. This is not me saying it's viral. I'm just saying it's got that vibe, right? It's got that. No, it's not mosaic -y vibe. It's a really weird vibe. I do kind of like the way that it's darker at the edge and lighter in the middle. And it's definitely more, again, it's more spidery than a normal large form because this has to be large form. There is no way. I don't know where this is originated from. Philippines, Thailand would not surprise me. Somewhere that's got access to some stuff, maybe. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't, honestly, I'm not bashing it. I just think, I do think it's quite interesting, actually. The leaf on that looks quite nice. But yeah, it's hard to really, can I zoom in on this in my little app? Uh, yes, it's hard to really decide what I think about it. It's definitely striking, and I understand why it's doing the rounds, because there's some white in there, and it's not white variegation that you have to manage, which who doesn't love a bit of that, right? So I get it. I do get it. I just, I can't decide if it's too gnarly for me, which I realize is absolutely hilarious given what I showed you previously. I get that. Um, but I wanted to put it in to show you guys what it is, to show you the tea, because you will start seeing on the internet, I promise, if you haven't already, I promise you will. Um, I want to show you it so you can have a look at it, decide whether you want it, and it's something different and it's Monstera. Do I want it? Don't know. For the shop? Obviously. Obviously. Goes without saying, I'm the planned shop. For me personally, I'm still undecided. I will let you know if and when I change my mind on it, or if it just randomly gets hauled one day next year or something. I don't know. But there it is. That's Monstera Devil Monster. Weird, isn't it? Very, very weird. Right, so we're now on to Anthurium, right? And I find this so funny because the shit I have spouted about not buying into the Anthurium hype and, you know, I don't believe that it's going that way. I still think it's niche and blah, blah, blah. I started poking around a couple of Anthuriums online, right? Ugh. I'm so embarrassed to say this. And the more I poked around, the more I liked. And it was all the weird hybrids, all right? It was all the weird hybrids. Now, I only have... I have three on here, and the last one is to show you the variability of the hybrids as well. I do want the plant, but there's so many hybrids of it, I can't decide which one I want, sort of thing. You, you'll see what I mean. I'm guessing it's F1. It might not be. I don't know. So, the first Anthurium I've got on here, it must have been on here for a while, and I really quite like this. It reminds me of like a... Kind of like a, an Anthurium Delta Force crossed with a Queen Anthurium. It's kind of, it's kind of really cool. And this is Anthurium Stingray. I don't know how easy it is to get, but I think it's really, really nice. I don't know how easy it is to grow. I don't know why, but a little, a little alarm bell is ringing in my head saying it's not easy to grow. And again, I'm making that up. I'm making that up. So feel free to leave a comment if you happen to have one or know somebody that has one. But this is very, very pretty. Now, as far as Anthurium's going that grab me, my, my type you could say of anthurium uh, it doesn't have to be long but it helps uh, something with a bit of length to it something very dark and some contrast but it doesn't have to be insane i actually prefer my anthurium more on the dark side like for example i absolutely adore anthurium dark forgetty eye love it all about it it's probably not everyone's favorite it's quite boring to some but i really like it kind of goes back with what i said about philodendrons and being darker and stuff like that so this for me though does have a little something something and i think I might be able to show you the same picture, I don't know. But you should be able to see what I'm talking about when I say it's got a bit of delta, a bit of... Maybe a bit of crystallinum in it. I, I don't know. But it just looks really, really cool. Now, what I can see... I might have to show you the image I'm looking at just so you can understand what I'm saying. But I can see a plant next to it that I actually assume is also a stingray. And I think they are maybe a bit variable. Now, all anthurium can be a bit variable based on conditions. They can get fatter or longer. Same as philodendrons and stuff like that. Don't get me wrong. Same as monstera. Same as anything. But but I'm a bit concerned it's quite variable. If you think back to the Anthurium King of Clarinervium, that's quite variable as well. They can be very, very different. Maybe this is the same. Maybe it's not. I anticipate a lot of the hybrids I actually like are very variable because they're F1 hybrids, which basically, by the way, just means they're a first generation. So it's the first time they've been sort of smushed together. So you can get quite different results until you start literally like breeding down from that and keeping the traits that you want and blah, blah, blah. So I don't know, but I really like it. Moving on. Oh, this one just gets me. This one gets me, guys. Um, if that, if that doesn't have a shit ton of forgetty eye in it, I don't know what else that's got in it. But this is the Anthurium Red Spider. And this, oh my god. This is nice, guys. This is nice. I think a lot of it is the forgetty eye driving it. Uh, some of it is obviously the pop of red and the minimal veining. Because as I said before, I dig it. I really dig these more minimal ones. That is sexual. That is very, very, very 
very sexual. It looks a bit longer than a forgetty eye, at least on the image that I'm looking at. It might be a different one from what you're looking at. So if I ever say something about an image, take it with a grain of salt because you might not be looking at the same thing, which apologies. So it looks a bit longer, but it looks really sexy. Now, what I don't know is if that red hangs around when it's hardened off. Let me just have a look. Oh, interesting. Ah, so the red spider, um, don't get me wrong, forgetty eye do do this as well. I have one upstairs that does it. I think I've got an image that, uh, of a forgetty eye that does it. Sometimes the sinus does try and creep back in a little bit on forgetty eye. And it could be pure forgetty eye, by the way, and it could still happen. But some of the images I'm looking at now, they do have a little bit of sinus creeping back in. So what I mean by that is it's not a complete round um, anthurium at the top. Obviously, the image that really got me was the round at the top. So I would be hoping that that would be the case. Either that or it's super variable anyway and it's forgetty eye obviously crossed with something and it's an F1 or whatever and it's very variable. So if I was going to buy this plant that said I would be looking for something that resembled the forgetty eye top shape with a lack of um, sinus or anything like that because it's just so much nicer that way. It's so much nicer that way. Don't get me wrong, I'm all for a good pair of ears on, a, on an anthurium, but this one, this one, I don't know if you can see that. I hope you can. Maybe you can. It needs to look like that. Okay, that, that is what I want from a red spider right there. If you happen to be breeding them, literally crack on, give me that because that, that is the best, best, best one. So let me get out of that. Right, the next plant, I started looking it up and I liked it. But the more I saw of it, the more I realized it was very variable. And again, I have not looked this up, but I can only assume it's an F1 or people are breeding that and getting all kinds of shit from it. I don't know. But I looked up Anthurium Carla Blackii, right? And I'm going to have to, I don't know whose images this is. Oh, they put an Instagram on there. I think I can just see. But I'm going to use this image because it displays my point, right? My point is there is clearly a lot of variation of Carla Black Eye and they all look very nice. Can I click on this and it will let me zoom in? Yes. So I think the Instagram handle is Dark Tropics. Very, very nice. So basically, oh, they, there's so many different ones. That's lovely that. So if I can draw your attention to the image, there is the OG one that looks quite nice. It's very, very dark um, and it's almost bronzy. There is, what else is quite nice? I really like the RA5. That's very nice as well. Again, the darker ones with a bit of contrast. The RA5s are actually probably the best one because the veining is completely changed compared to the other ones. So I don't know what Carla Black EI is crossed with. I thought I did know at one point. Um, I might have even done a rare plant index and featured it. I don't know, guys. But I haven't seen it. I haven't dealt with it. So I can't remember any of that information. So I'm very sorry. But basically what I'm trying to get at here is I like this plant and there is a shit ton of variations of it. A shit ton. This probably isn't even all of them. So I really, really like it. Will I get my hands on it? Well, yes, maybe. But I don't know which one it would be. And it would have to look a bit special. For example, not to shit on plants, right? But the on this image anyway, the RA17. Sorry if you've got it at home boring right boring it's giving me more of what i've already got okay um what else the, the the first two actually the first two on the top are all also a little bit boring so if i get one it's got to be different the og one is fantastic the ra5 is fantastic love those love them and that guys that actually concludes my rare plant wish list i know it's a pretty tight selection of philodendron one homolamina monstera and some anthurium as i said at the beginning of the video i reserve the right to make another one of these either another rare one because i found more shit or another more comedy one and, and stuff like that because i just haven't had the time i know i'm a broken record i totally get that but i reserve the right to make another one let me know what you think about any of the ones i've mentioned is there something that you think oh my god you'd love this how did you not know about this you need to get this then leave it in a comment because i will be looking if you've got any nice plants that i've mentioned especially the like things like the silver angel the orange princess stuff like that tag me on them on instagram i'd love to come over and have a little looky and if you like this video please leave a like down below it lets me know that i'm making content that you enjoy similarly merch link down below either this one or this one right here the long boys one or again my feed is now active on amazon yes it's uk only for now but as i mentioned before i need the reviews i need i need the the backing on amazon for it to grow because it's actually really hard to grow a product on amazon so anyway guys let me know what you thought of this wish list i will love you and leave you have a fantastic weekend and i will see you in the next one Bye.